Good morning, everybody. It's CG. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. OMG, y'all. It is Vlogmas Day 16. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, y'all. That's right. 16. That is a 1. And a six. I can't count. I ain't smart. There you go. Anyway, we are, of course, back in the truck, but it's actually, what, it's almost 11 now. It's a little after 11. It's so, we're just kind of getting a late start. We got up early this morning, um, did breakfast, and all mama made breakfast. And then Andy and his dad took off, did a propane run, a dog food run, a gas in the truck run because mama and I were so tired last night we came in it was cold and windy and we were tired so we knew they were going out this morning and Andy said it was fine he would he didn't mind filling it back up for us normally we stop on the way in and fill it up so it's full when we get back but he said he wouldn't mind stopping since they had to go out early this morning anyway he would go ahead and fill it up so they took care of that and that was very nice of him thank you honey you're welcome so they did all of that and then Andy just got back and while he was gone I had to do my unemployment. Y'all, unemployment today was a pain in the gluteus maxima. That's the buttocks. Okay, I paused for a second, y'all, because we were on this bumpy road, and you're going like this all the time, and yep, yeah, see, just like that, hard to watch, right? So anyway, there's another few bumps up here we're going to hit, I promise you, because I know the road we're on, but they're not like that one. They're just a few right here in the beginning. Too bad we ain't on that side. And the other I know, right? Though. That'd be the jump. <laughs> <laughs> there's this one on this same road, but going the other direction. You hit it, if you're going more than about 15, 20 miles an hour, it's right there. Yep. It's a, like this on the road, and you will come out of your seat if you hit it too fast. I promise you. It is fun. I like to hit it going 45. <laughs> Thank goodness for seat belts. Anyway. So, unemployment was an absolute pain this morning. They're having issues with the website. And you'd enter the employer. You don't have to enter so many employers every week of where I applied and what I did and this and that and the other. And you have to enter their name, the employer's name, the address. And sometimes if it's one that's in their system, you know, that, oh, y'all, see, there's another one, y'all. Sorry. Woohoo! It's a roller coaster ride for the Vlogmas roller coaster. Anyway, you have the, if it's in their system, it'll pull it up when you start typing it in and it'll auto generate the address and all that for you if it's not you have to go look it up and put it in so their system for whatever reason was having troubles this morning so you put the employer name in and it would kick back and say oops sorry we had a problem please retry so in order to retry you have to click the refresh button and then it tells you that you know the web page you're refreshing you will lose the data you've entered and da 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 do you want to continue well yes you have to continue because you still got to go so you re-click it and it signs you out. Then you have to wait for that page to load for the sign-in back to sign back in. You get signed in. You wait for that one to load. You click on your certification and that one has to load. Then you go down to your employer. It's like four or five pages. Each one has to load. And, you know, we don't have the greatest internet at home, y'all. So each page takes a little bit to load. And you finally get through it. And it did save the employer name. And now you start the address and you get the address put in. And when you before you can go to the next section... Oops, sorry, we had an error. And I have to do this on all four of the certifications that I did. Every single section, four or five pages to reload, close it out, restart it. It took me the whole time they were gone, which was probably close to two hours. Like, seriously, probably close to two hours. I was so frustrated, but I finally got it done right as Andy got back. So, that's the reason that we are now getting such a late start on all this. But we are headed to Harbor Freight. Because we have to get something for the man. Would you like to tell them what we're getting? New toys. We are not getting toys. We are Hopper Freight. I want to get toys also. We do not have money for toys. That can be fixed. In. <laughs> Whatever, y'all. We're going to Harbor Freight to get a tarp. And he has a tarp over his camper because he's, a couple of the skylight things leak a little bit. It's an older camper. And, uh. Eventually, they're going to get fixed when the remodeling is done, but that's just, he's been, like y'all know, he's been in the hospital for a year. So, for now, temporarily, we need to, you know, we got some more rain coming in later this week, and we need to make sure it's not leaking on his bed. So, we're going to go get a new tarp and retarp it, because the old one just, you know, it's been on there for almost a year now, and it's just gotten worn and torn in a couple places from all the wind and all that. So, we just need to replace the tarp, so. 
that's what we're going to Harbor Freight for. And new toys. Anyway, y'all, I think that's about almost hey right at this moment. I will. Crazy lighting on the camera. I don't know what this camera does, y'all. I seriously don't. Anyway, we'll check back in with you in a little bit. Say bye. Bye, y'all. Oh, and if you want to sponsor the helper boy and him getting new toys and stuff from, like, the Harbor Freight and maybe, like, the antique store or any place like that or the tractor supply, any place like that, y'all, you can uh, either contact the CG right here or the helper boy, me, and you can, like, sponsor new toys for us. It would be cool. <laughs> Say goodbye, crazy. Bye, y'all. Well, y'all, yeah. he has green light, so he's gonna go. Um, Yes, we left the Harbor Freight. We got the tarp. He even found a camo. Are you excited? So excited over camo? Yes, I am excited. It is camouflage. They will not be able to see me in my camper or my camper from the black government helicopters. And he even got camouflage cording to tie it off with. And then he got ratchet straps and then he got a little screwdriver and then he got a tape measure and then he got batteries and then he got a little flashlight and he ended up with all kind of stuff y'all because Harbor Freight has some really cool coupons right now. Oh and scissors. Oh and I seen more, a whole lot more stuff that I would like from Harbor Freight. Just saying if somebody would like to sponsor me. Just saying. And now before y'all all go crazy talking about how they spending money they don't have to. <laughs> There were funds set aside for the camper tarping and all that from Nanny and Mama or whatever. The other stuff, they have these super coupons on the app. So the scissors were 39 cents and the tape measure was 98 cents. Yes, under a dollar. Yeah. Under a dollar. Uh, the little screwdriver thing was 70 cents. Ah, sorry, y'all, I dropped you. Sorry. Yeah, she does. Sorry. Yeah, she does. She just drops um, and He hit a bump and knocked the phone out of my hand. Excuses, excuses. Anyway, all of these are super coupons that are on the app. If you go to the app, go to the super coupons down at the bottom. All of these were like less than a dollar. Some of them were like the batteries were, well, except the batteries. They were $1.39. But y'all, it's $1.39 for a 24 pack of batteries. So the little bitty stuff came up to about $10 or so and I paid for that. So anyway, that's what we know. And then, well, we went to town, y'all. So, you know, it had to happen. So I got this one. Unnatural, unsouthern, and un-American. I poured it, well, most of it, it won't all fit. I'll have a refill. Into my new tumbler that Miss Joan bought me while we were in Alabama. Because we both went off and forgot our cups that we usually use. We forgot them. So, y'all, look how pretty this is. If I can get the, there it goes. Look how pretty, y'all. Ain't that pretty? Ain't it? Ain't it just? So I poured my sonic in my tumbler. Ah. Anyway, now we shall go back to the hacienda, aka home, and figure out what we are doing from there. We'll be back. Base camp. Say goodbye. Face cam. The compound. 10 4 Bye over and out. 10 4. Hey, y'all. Yep. It's me. So, as you can see, it is nighttime. I'm in my jammies. See? Got my cute little polar bears, y'all. Ain't they cute? Let it snow. Anyway, um, we got back here. We didn't do a whole lot. It was kind of yucky weather and. You know, we went over to Mama's for a little bit, and just a little bit, and then they went grocery shopping, so we waited for them and got, they brought the drinks and stuff over, and I mean, it's really, we didn't do a whole lot, just kind of laid around, and it was yucky weather day, and didn't do much after that, so I've, we piddled a little bit here and there, but we didn't shoot any other clips, so I'm actually sitting here now to tell you that we didn't shoot no other clips, and I'm going to close this video out. <laughs> So I guess today is just going to be a whole lot of nothing except us just goofing around and being silly. So hope y'all enjoyed that and at least got a couple chuckles out of it. We will see y'all on tomorrow's video and hopefully have a little bit more for you. Y'all tell her the Bodog needs his daily required burrito. He is in the need of his daily required burrito. He needs the Bodog. 
He needs his burrito. Say good night, Gracie. The Bodo needs his burrito. Say good night. Good night. Burrito for Bodo.